now coming onto the straight. This is really close now with Felipe Vassa using TRS. Starting lap 9 now. Now coming down towards turn 1. We go up the inside of Massa. Into turn 1. We get the move done from first place. That's brilliant stuff. That could be, this could be our first win now. If, if Massa doesn't fight back at us now. Down towards Arouge now. Massa is really close. You can see the proximity arrows. Now coming down towards Arouge. Felipe Massa's on the inside of Massa. Has gone off the track there. Massa's in the barriers. And that is dramatic there. Massa has gone off. Wow. Massa has just been cut off and we've, we've, that's just given us luck. Felipe Massa is in the barriers there. Baby, won't you let the light shine through for you, 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 Hi guys, it's Kaman Shabir. Welcome to the F1 2013 career mode today. And we'll be doing the Italian Grand Prix today. We'll be doing Monza. We call we qualified on pole position for the second time in a row. Um, from our celebrations there. You saw the qualifying highlights last episode. The last video. And here we are in Monza. The fastest circuit on the F1 calendar. It's the 12th round of the career mode. We're in our second race for Sauber. Starting from pole position once again. But can we win the race once again? We have to see. I don't know what will happen. Um, here we go. And uh, Monza is the fastest circuit of this track. It has about four straights and uh, three chicanes. Three chicanes being a Scari, the second chicane and the first chicane, obviously. And the four straights having the pit straight, the curve, the straight on the curve of Grande, and the big, the bit straight, the pit, the back straight just before a Scari. So. Oh yeah, and the straight before the final corner. And here we go, looking at our teammate challenge. I don't know why we do that all the time. We do that all the time for some reason. Now um, the game is put. Uh, Mega is put on lap six, so hopefully we can save our times for them. But usually it ends up being one lap earlier. So like every time that the game puts us in a position, it's really one lap earlier than usual. Like in uh, Belgium, the game put us to get us to put on lap five, but it we put on lap four because yeah. But um. I thought we could save the tiles to right six, so here we go out on track for the Italian Grand Prix. Here we are on the grid in Italy. We start from pole position for Sauber. Lewis Hamilton starts second ahead of Nico Hulkenberg is in P12. My teammate's in P12, so here we are on pole position now. I'm sure we had the engineer there. But here we go, we have three lights, four lights, and five lights are in his lean lights out, and away we go for the Italian Grand Prix. And we got a pretty good start there, but Lewis Hamilton's got a better start than me, and he's gonna get past us down towards turn one. Hamilton has got past us. He's completely got past us. But can we go back round the outside of Hamilton into the first chicane? What can we do to Hamilton? We've almost touched him there. How have we not touched him? We've made him back off there, and Hamilton has got first place on the start. But here we go, can we get Hamilton back on the curve of Grande? We're going, to go, we're going to pull out to the outside, we're going to be side by side into the second chicane. Can we get Hamilton? Yes we can, in the back up into the lead on the first lap. This is already good action. And now coming on to the curve of Grande, the replay now. We were absolutely side by side down into the second chicane. That's how good that was. And you heard the engine noise, it was beautiful engine noise there, you heard it probably. But here we are, coming on to the first Lesmo. Now skipping on to the mid to the beginning of lap two, where we go wide into the gravel. And uh, here comes Hamilton on the outside, he's going to speed past us. Nico Rosberg has moved up to second. Can Rosberg get me though? He's, he's gone wide on the outside, we get past, Ham uh, get back, get Rosberg back into um, the first Lesmo. We go wide there at the second Lesmo after corner cutting massively there. So there you go. Using a flashback because of that, and I knew in the gra I knew when I was in the gravel, I didn't want to use a flashback when I went into the gravel on the second chicane because I knew I was going to catch Hamilton back. So um, here we go. So Rosberg has just gone slowing down. Sebastian Vettel has got past Nico Rosberg up into third place. Sebastian Vettel with a good pass there. And who's that? It's a Ferrari side by side with um, Rosberg now. But Sebastian Vettel has moved up to third. But now moving on to the beginning of lap three in the same place as the second chicane. 
We are really close to Lewis Hamilton. Adrian Sutil sets the fastest lap of the race with a 128. That's a pretty slow time though. Hamilton was side by side with them into the first size mode. What can we do to Hamilton? We oh, we touched in there and we have to back off the move there. That was too aggressive from us. Now coming into the second last mode, we've got a much better run than Lewis Hamilton. Now coming onto the straight, we've got DRS and we're skipping on to the end of lap three. Can we go up the inside of Hamilton into the final corner? Yes, we can. We got it just about. Just about hold it into the just about hold it into the corner. And we get back past Lewis Hamilton up into P1 we go. This is actually good, a good battle with Lewis Hamilton for the lead. And Hamilton is trying to fight back at us down towards the first chicane. What can he do? What can Hamilton do? We're going to defend the inside. But Hamilton is trying to go on the outside. But we have the inside line into the first chicane. Starting lap four now. And we stay in fourth and stay in first position. But here comes Hamilton on the inside of us. We've uh, moved over to defend on the inside of Kova Grande. But here comes Hamilton on the inside of us. Raikkonen, I think, set the fastest lap there. But here we go. Here comes Hamilton. But he's just not fast enough to get past me. How is that possible? Hamilton's not fast enough to get past my car there. And uh, we just hold it into the second chicane. But here comes Lewis Hamilton back on the inside. Can he get him? Can we? Can we? Can he get me? Now, who's that? Rosberg's trying to look up the inside of me as Hamilton has got past us into the first Lesmo. mode, and he's just absolutely blocked me to the second chicane, the second Lesmo, sorry. And Rosberg has run into the back of me. I think. I think Rosberg has run into the back of me. Let's see. Look at Hamilton. That is terrible blocking from him there. Yes, Rosberg has hit the back of me, and he's lost an end plate. And Sebastian Vettel moves back up into third place. Here we go, Sebastian Vettel's into third. This is interesting now. We need to, we need to um <clears throat> Hamilton needs to finish ahead of um, Alonso in order to keep his championship lead. Now coming onto the final corner, starting lap five of the Italian Grand Prix in Monza. And we go into the gravel just slightly. And Sebastian Vettel now loses his front wing. And what can Rosberg do? Rosberg has sped past Vettel. And Vettel's down to fourth again. Rosberg's coming on the outside of us now. Coming down towards turn one. And Reichen is now side by side with Vettel. But Rosberg is on the outside of us. He's got back basically past us. But we go back on the inside. We've overshot turn one. And we've had to go across the chicane there. Because we over absolutely overshot turn one there. Here comes Rosberg back at us, we're letting him back through there, but Rosberg's coming back at us, now down towards the Kova Grande, we're side by side now, we've got a warning for corner cutting obviously, but here we go, round the other side of Kova Grande, Rosberg's just not fast enough to get past our car, into the Kova Grande, and we're back up into second place, but here comes Rosberg back on the outside of us, into Ascari, what can we do, and we, and Rosberg still backs off the middle on the outside, and we're into second, and we're still holding second place, Hamilton leads this race, in Monza. Now Rosberg is trying to is really really close to me down towards the parabolica. <clears throat> and look at this, we're sliding. Oh we're sliding, we got massive we slid twice. That that we need to come into the pits. That is absolutely uh, terrible. So I, I, I said we were not going to get in the pits one at lap earlier and we have because our tires are just so gone. Lap six and we're coming into the pit lane. Hamilton with the fastest lap. That's a 126 for Lewis Hamilton. 3.1 seconds is the pit stop. We're, um, we're going to rejoin in uh, P, P11 maybe? Yeah, P11. Just uh, maybe can we get ahead of our teammate Nico Hulkenberg? What can we do into the first chicane? If we can just, just, just get out of our, ahead of our teammate, that's crucial for our race. If we got, if, we, if Hulkenberg passed us in the pits, then um, that would have been uh, a bit of hold up and we wouldn't have got past Hamilton. So we need to get an undercut from Hamilton, that's what we need to do now. So people are in the pit lane now, what can we move up to? <clears throat> We're going to move up to P6, P5, P5, behind Sergio Perez. <clears throat> Sergio Perez is in P4 at the moment, here in Monza. P5, we've come out of the pit stop. Oh, lap 7 now of the Italian Grand Prix. And we're in fifth position at the moment. Sergio Perez are going much closer to him into the Parabolica starting lap eight. And here we go. Can we get Sergio Perez? And Perez pulls off into the pits. So we um so we um free for that. So into P4, P3, P2. We set the fastest lap as a 125.4. That's brilliant. Into second place. Hamilton's ahead on the right hand side. Can we get Hamilton? No, we can't. Hamilton's just about got ahead of us. But Hamilton is really close to us now. Can we win for the second time in a row? This is a real chance. Hamilton has got <coughs> Hamilton has just about got ahead of us into first position. He's got the undercut on us. How has he undercut us there? Hamilton's still got ahead of us. 
But here we go. We're two dance purples. We're going to try to go up the inside of Hamilton into the second chicane. We're dipping the wheel to the gravel a little bit. Hamilton fighting back into the first Lesmo. We're wheel to wheel to the first Lesmo. Can we go round the outside into the first Lesmo? Surely not here. But we're touching wheels with Lewis Hamilton. <coughs> and we somehow hold the car there. Absolutely unbelievable. We somehow hold the car to take first position brilliantly. <coughs> wow. That is probably the best move of the season. That one there. Here we go onto the straight on lap eight. And here we go with uh, on foot into the first position we go. Grosjean's into third. Roman Grosjean is in third. What is going on here? Hamilton's on the outside of us with DRS. Lap nine of thirteen we start. We start lap nine. Hamilton's on the outside of us. Down towards turn one. Can we get into the first chicane? Yes, Hamilton does get us, but we go wider into the second part of the first chicane, and Hamilton gets past us. And, um, can we get Hamilton? That's the question. Can we get Hamilton by the end of this race? I want to, because this is actually a really good fight with Hamilton so far. We've battled with him for the whole race. But we're getting closer to Hamilton now, down towards the second chicane. We've broken earlier than usual, but we locked up there. So we weren't going to have a look up the inside into the second chicane. But we're, get, we're having a cracker of a battle here with Lewis Hamilton, here in Monza. And this is turning in, this is turning into one of the good races. Now coming onto the straight, starting lap 10, DRS, Kurz on Lewis Hamilton. We're going to put out to the outside and we're going to speed past him. We're going to speed past Hamilton into first place, 342 kilometers an hour down the straight. That is so fast for a Sauber, got to say. But here we go, onto the curve of Grande. We take back P1, we somehow didn't touch Hamilton there. But now coming onto the middle of lap 10, where Hamilton... Is Hamilton really close? Hamilton's getting much, much closer. What can Hamilton do on the outside? He's trying to go on the outside into Ascari. What can Hamilton do right on the outside there? Hamilton has got... He's touched my wheel there. But we, we've just been forced off into the curb by Lewis Hamilton. And, and Hamilton takes back the first position. This is a brilliant battle with Lewis Hamilton. Now coming onto the straight, into the Parabolica. Can we go back up the inside? Just like on lap four. Or oh, lap three or whatever it was. And then we, go, we touch wheels with Hamilton there. And we get back up into first. That is brilliant. This is brilliant stuff with Hamilton. Now, um, we're going to... Well, we should have used Kurz here. Yeah, we used a little bit of a Kurz now. Hamilton is trying to go on the outside. I, I don't know why we didn't use our Kurz in the first part of the lap to defend from Lewis Hamilton. Now, coming into... Oh, we've gone wide again into the second part of this first chicane. But Hamilton does not get past us this time. So, on to lap 11. Three laps to go in the Italian Grand Prix. This is a really good race now. Now, coming... Skipping on to... The second chicane on lap 11. And we're going to check where our championship rivals are. Hamilton is second, Alonso is fourth, Rosberg and Vettel are sixth and seventh. So if they stay there, I might move up to fourth in the championship. So Rosberg is currently in fourth place in the championship at this point. After Belgium, here comes Hamilton on the outside of us with DRS. He speeds past us there. And Roman Grosjean is now got the Alonso. Here comes Alonso out of nowhere into second place. That's brilliant, but Hamilton, we've got on our rear wing, and we just absolute. Oh my god, we've we've lost the traction off his rear wing, and Alonso out of nowhere moves up into third place. Where did he come from? Alonso came out of nowhere. I didn't even see him. I only saw Grosjean in third. I didn't even see Alonso anywhere. But Alonso was trying to go on the outside there, but he massively backed off. But moving on to the penultimate lap, Hamilton, we're really close to him. What can we do to Hamilton? We've pushed him wide a little bit there. I'm not sure if we pushed him or not. Here we go, slipstream on Hamilton. We're both on prime tyres. Here we go, what can we do into the Curva Grande? We're going to go round the outside. We're going to go side by side with Lewis Hamilton into the Curva Grande. We're touching wheels there. And we get back up into first again. 21 cars. I didn't even notice there's a car out of the race because of this much drama in the race. Lap 12, moving on to the middle of the penultimate lap. Two laps to go in Monza. Now coming in, here comes Hamilton on the outside of us now. Coming down towards Ascari. This, Hamilton's coming on the outside. What can we do into Ascari? Hamilton, he's gone off the track. Then we make contact and Hamilton is off the track. That could really get Alonso into the lead. Hamilton's off the track. And Alonso's in second. That is brilliant. We've taken the lead. Alonso is now trying to get us now into first place. Alonso has... He's in second and he's in first place now, but we're going to fight back on Fernando Alonso now. Down towards the second chicane, Fernando Alonso has moved up into second place and that... Oh my god. 
That could really change the championship round once again. Alonso trying to go on the outside of us into the first Lesmo. What can Alonso do? He's he's just um he just backed off the move there, and we've touched his rear, uh, touched his front tire with our rear tire, and this is the last lap. Roman Grosjean is in third place at the moment. Could this be his second podium of the season? What can Alonso do? Down towards Ascari, he's coming on the inside. Alonso is coming on the inside into Ascari. He's backed off to the inside. But here comes Roman Grosjean around the outside. Grosjean is into second place. That is brilliant. Grosjean has moved up to second place. What a crazy race. Alonso's backed off. Grosjean round the outside. And that is, that is a brilliant slide. That is a good looking slide, even though it really didn't help my tyres. It was a good looking slide. <coughs> But here we go, now it's down to the final corner, the final lap. Roman Grosjean is trying to get us now down into the into the final corner. Green flag resume racing. Now here comes Roman Grosjean on the outside. What can we do? We're trying to go slow into the final corner because our tyres are worn. But here we go, round the final corner. We somehow hold the car in the last few laps to win for a second time in the row in green mode. We win the Italian Grand Prix in Monza. It's our second win in a row. That is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I did not expect to win this race. Even though, well, basically I probably did. But uh, it's me who wins this Italian Grand Prix by two tenths of a second. Roman Grosjean finishes second. Fernando Alonso in third place. That could change the championship around. Because Hamilton's down in seventh. Kimi Raikkonen's in fourth. Sebastian Vettel is in fifth. Head of Felipe Massa. And it's Lewis Hamilton who went off the track and had a good battle with me. He finishes in 7th place. That could cost Hamilton in the championship in this race. Sergio Perez finishes 8th ahead of Nico Rosberg. So he's ninth. so that could uh, move me up into 4th place because Nico Rosberg's only got 2 points. Porter Resto, my old teammate, finishes in 10th place. Nico Hulkenberg, 11th. Valtteri Bottas, Pastor Malnado, John Rick Vern. Mark Webber's down in 15th. I don't know what happened to him. Adrian Sutil is in 16th, ahead of Daniel Ricciardo, Guido van der Gaard, Charles Pick, Jules Bianchi, Max Chilton, and Jensen Button was the DNF for the Grand Prix, so Jensen Button with a terrible race again, unfortunately. Fantastic result, two in a row, unbelievable. Thanks for that, Engineer. Fernando Alonso does take the lead the championship. It does change it around. Hamilton Alonso is leading by three points. That's going to be a really close championship now. Hamilton is in second, ahead of Sebastian Vettel third, me in fourth, so I have moved up to fourth, ahead of Nico Rosberg in fifth, Felipe Massa, then Roman Grosjean seventh, Kimi Raikkonen in eighth, Mark Webber ninth, Sergio Perez tenth, Jensen Button in eleventh, so he's probably moved down because of that retirement. Nico Hulkenberg is twelfth for Sauber, our teammate. Now I need to wait for it to go down. Yep, come on, go down. <laughs> Valtteri Bottas 13th, Paul Resta, Daniel Ricciardo, Pastor Maldonado, jean luc Verne in 17th, Adrian Sutical 18th, Jules Bianchi 19th, Charles Pick 20th, Guido van der Gaard and then Max Chilton finishing last play in last place of the drivers. Now Mercedes are leading by 14 points from Ferrari in second place, Red Bull in third, Lotus in fourth, Sauber fifth, McLaren sixth, Force India in seventh, Williams in eighth, Toro Rosso ninth, Marussia and Caterham in the last positions. But Mercedes is not leading by a huge margin now because they've only scored um, 7th and 9th, which is um, 2 and 4 points, 6 points, I believe, in this race. So here we are, getting out of our car for the second time in a row, celebrating our win. We are fist bumping everywhere. Look at how happy my driver is. Again, with that beautiful helmet of mine too. We're fist bumping, and Roman Grosjean in second place is going to congratulate us. It's the exact opposite of Canada. Grosjean won that race, and I came second. So I hope you enjoyed this Italian Grand Prix. It's been another brilliant win and a brilliant race for us. And see you guys in my next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and goodbye.